Exergen Corporation. In partnership with their independent industrial global OEM sales division, Exergen Global. Calibrating an IRTC. All thermocouple readout devices put out a certain amount of leakage current from input amplifiers and for sensor brake detection. The leakage current can cause offsets when using an IRTC. Leakage current is not an issue with conventional thermocouples as the resistance is less than 100 ohms. However, an IRTC can have impedance from 1 kilo ohm to 50 kilo ohms. If you know the leakage current, you can calculate the offset. And if you know the offset, you can calculate the leakage current from the formula here. For example, an input device with one microamp of current will result in less than one degree offset with a conventional thermocouple. The same device, reading an IRTC with three kilo ohms of impedance, will produce an offset of 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 55 degrees Celsius. Most readout devices have considerably smaller leakage currents and consequently smaller offsets. For designers of readout devices, it's recommended that both sources of leakage current be reduced to one nanoamps or less to minimize offset errors. All infrared-based sensing systems must be calibrated for specific material surface properties. This calibration is performed by measuring the target surface temperature with a reliable independent surface temperature probe, like the Exergen DX series handheld infrared thermometer with a patented automatic emissivity compensation system, which gives a true reading regardless of emissivity. The following procedure is recommended. Install the IRTC as close as practical to view the target material to be measured. Wire the IRTC to the input device in standard fashion. As with conventional thermocouples, red wire is always negative. Measure the room temperature with DX series. Blind the sensor with aluminum foil and record the input device reading. Adjust the offset on the readout device to match the DX series reading room temperature. This calibrates out the error due to leakage current. Bring the process up to normal operating temperature and measure the actual temperature of the target material with the DX series infrared thermometer. Adjust the gain on the input device to match the reading on the DX series. Congratulations, your system is now calibrated for your process.